My name is Emery and I'm 18. I wake up and then I come in here and I paint all day. We had been going through um, an adoption agency. We just got a call out of the blue one day and um, they said a family would like to interview you. We spent probably an hour or so talking and then um, before we left, you know, we were talking about, well, you know, if we meet again, they were like, oh, no, no, we've already selected y'all. And I got to be in the delivery room with her, so I was the first person to touch her other than the doctor and we got to be with her every minute after that. When I was born, um, she called me her little joy. Of course, Emery was born super healthy, amazing, and um, when she was six, we went in for a small procedure, and um, the doctor said, have you heard, did you know that she had a heart murmur? And then six months later, she started having some problems um, being clumsy, and so we really um, started realizing there was more going on, and we went to see a neurologist who said, they're about the same thing, this is terrible news, it's this thing called FA, it's really rare, you're never gonna find any doctor that even knows what it's about. We get back and we pull up in our driveway, but as we were getting out, I just remember Emery <clears throat> asking if we could play in a rain. And I, and I was trying to hide tears. <laughs> and uh, I said, yeah. I said, let's just go out and dance in the rain together. And here's all this rain pouring down and we're just holding hands, <laughs> you know, turning the circle. And uh, I remember the, um, the saying that you can wait for the storms to pass or you can learn to dance in the rain. Ever since she's been diagnosed, our motto that we kind of live by is whatever you want to do, we're going to do it. We've, we may just do it a different way than anybody else does. You're going to keep going. You're good. We're going to persevere through this. We're not ever going to give up. We set out at the first light. When we first we began doing the ride of taxi, she said, you know, Dad, I want to ride. I want to do this. The first year we did the six mile. The next year she was she wanted to do the 25 mile. So I thought, okay, well, we'll give it a shot. When there was parts of it where I just thought, I cannot go anymore. It's just nice to know that we're not alone. And that's one of the things about the ride that really has has been uh, such a blessing. The ride is, we had no idea what it was going to be, but we met so many people that um, have FA or their kids have FA and they understand their family. I mean, their children feel like my children and their Emory sisters and brothers and we do life with them. Really, into, like, just a place of When you're diagnosed with the FA, you know, you hear, you're, you're one in 50,000 and you feel so alone. But then you come here and you get to see an event of 600 people that is raising money to push the research forward to make it happen and, and to treat and cure this disease. They know eliminate it forever. It's our hope that, they're, that they will find it. Until they do, we're going to go out and make the best of it, and we're just going to keep fighting along each and every day.